this way. And this way here is considered as a new route. And in this route, you can find just about the same Pokemon. Oh, actually, no. There's actually one new Pokemon that you can find here in this route. Um, and uh, hopefully I can encounter it. Uh, hopefully I can encounter it. Uh, should be around here. It should be coming here anytime soon. Um, but um, anytime. If I don't fall down ledges, that'd be great. Okay, here it is. Alright, so this is a new Pokemon that you can find here. This is a Meow. Um, of course, you know, we've encountered Meowths already from Team Rocket. Team Rocket, Team Rocket, Team Rocket's Jesse and James has a Meow uh, that never evolves. Uh, if you're using it, if you're gonna use a Meowth on your team, then it can evolve. Uh, Meowth is very, is pretty cool. A very decent Pokemon. Uh, it had its signature move is Payday, uh, which um, a lot, which is a move that you know if you use it, you, uh, coins will shat will will shatter all over the battlefield, and you'll actually p use the you you can actually pick those pick those coins up as pocket change uh, to gain to gain extra money, uh, which is really cool. Now, actually, I'm gonna do this off screen, but. There is a reward waiting for us later on, where if you catch five Meowths, uh, then you'll get something pretty cool. Um, and I will be catching five Meowths off screen. So far I've caught two of them, uh, so I just need to find three more off screen. Uh, so that'll be on my own time. Alright, anyway, enough, enough wild Pokemon for now. We are going to be moving on this way, and this way has a lot of trainers, so... Let's go ahead and take on some of them. Starting off with this hiker, who just got down from Mount Moon. If you head over here, you can get this item, which is a Super Potion, which is basically an upgraded potion. Um, that heals, uh, 50 HP. I had this feeling that I knew I had to battle you! I had this feeling that I knew I was going to lose to you! because I had not missed ones, even though I got sand attack twice. Wow, a party? That sounds like fun! Switch out, or no, actually, no, nah, it's a hiker. Uh, I, I, I tend to know what hikers will generally use. things up a bit here. Alright, so there's an item over there. It's blocked up by a trainer and a uh, and a tree. And uh, we're gonna have to find a way to get that item somehow. I'm a picnicker and my boyfriend is a camper. Okay.
I'm a camper! My girlfriend is a picnicker. Okay, so you two are related in some way. So if you don't encounter that trainer in a very particular way, then you'll be then you're basically screwing yourself out of getting this item until much later. Um, so if you want to get that early, then you have to get that trainer to get to you in a very particular way. Uh, so that is the TM for Thunder Wave, which um, could be useful, but uh, with the way, but I am not sure how the later parts of the game is gonna work out. Because I have not played far enough right there to know, um, to know if I'll need Thunder Wave or not. items there but over here we have a fisherman the first fisherman in the game and fishermen use water Pokemon of course but what type of water Pokemon no one of those trainers! Oh, it's back! The Charmander that I got like 10 minutes ago. And it evolves. How wonderful. And we get a Charmeleon. Boy, is that trainer gonna be happy when he sees this Pokemon? That means I've been taking good care of it. Except I haven't even been using it, so I don't know. Alright, anyway. Uh, so. Let's see. Uh, okay, so this is how we're gonna get out here. Uh, but over here is three Nana Berries. Um, I don't remember what Nana Berries do. Um, so, can't really give out full a very full description of Nana Berries. Uh, over here is Lure. And then, uh, nothing in the bushes. But over here is another Coach Trainer. Uh, first off, I'm gonna go heal. I'm gonna heal up because I think, uh, well, knowing 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 my luck, coach, coach trainers tend to be on the difficult side. So, gotta go ahead and play things a little bit safe here. This area is popular for dates. I'm I'm a proudly independent coach trainer at, at a date spot. Okay, so hmm, I don't know. I, I think you're better off fi uh, finding someone to, uh, so you can like, because I think it's better to. Hang out in romantic places with somebody instead of just hanging out in a romantic area by yourself. Because, I mean, what will people think of you? You know what I mean? Seismic toss in this game. Hey, like you send the Pokemon flying up out of Earth and then back down. Oh my gosh, that's like one of the coolest battle animations in this game, in my opinion, uh, so far from all the battle animations I've seen. All right, so we go inside here, and we got an empty house. Okay. 
What's this? What are you seeing here? Hey. What is that? Is that a Nidorino? Oh my goodness, it's a Nidorino. You're, you're, you're right. This is right there. Oh. Oh, hi. I'm Bill. Call me Bill. I'm a true Pokemon fanatic. I can tell. Okay. I screwed up an experiment and got combi com combined with a Pokemon. So how about it? Help me out here. Okay. I'm gonna climb inside the teleporter so you run the, the cell separation system for me. You do it from that PC over there. You're gonna do it for me, right? Don't leave me hanging. Alright. So don't leave you hanging. Is this where you sleep? Oh my goodness, that's some bad, that's some unhealthy sleeping environment right or that, that you got right there. All right, here we go. The screen says something about a teleporter. Okay, it says don't. Okay, it says don't mess this up. I mean, I don't know. What is there to mess up? Well, I mean, I guess there's many things that you can mess up. This is a program that I've never used before. Wow. Rox is very intrigued by this. Ah, so you must be Bill. You got a Pokemon box, okay. So you notice this is our Pokemon box. If you ever catch too many Pokemon, your Pokemon gets full, send some of those Pokemon to Professor Oak. I bet you'd be mighty thankful. I forget I forget my own head if it weren't attached. Well, you're welcome. And we get SS tickets. Not one ticket, but many. That cruise ship, the SS Anne, pulls into port, uh, into port of Vermilion City. They invited me to some party on board, but I can't stand fancy gatherings. Why don't you go instead of me? There, th there are a couple tickets in there, so have some fun with a friend or something. Okay. Well, I know just the friend who could pro probably go with me. Right? Am I right? I think I'm right. Oh, actually... Um... Let's take a look at his computer. I, what you can see on his computer is actually really interesting. Alright, so he has some sighting reports. Number 44, number 144, 145, 146. Let's take a look at all three of these. Here I am at the Seafoam Islands in my search for Pokemon I've never seen before. I came across some rapid undergrounds that were too fast to swim across. I was exploring the area when suddenly I was hit by a blast of freezing cold. It was as if I was uh, I was struck in a I was stuck in a blizzard. It got so cold I began to black out. As my consciousness faded, I saw a pair of shiny wings over the waves. Could that have been the legendary Pokemon Articuno? Ooh, who is that? I've never heard of such thing before. I need to practice my swimming so that next time I can capture Articuno for sure. Okay. About this one. Here I am at the abandoned power plant in my search for Pokemon ever seen before. I had no idea you could reach this place by swimming from that spot on Route 10. As I was exploring, one of the Pokeballs lying around suddenly attacked me. It made a huge explosion, knocked me out. An expl okay, wait. How do you survive an explosion then? If you are, if you, if it, if a Pokemon explodes, you're pretty much dead, right? You're a goner. But I do remember seeing some jagged looking wings as I blacked out. Could that have been the, le the legendary Pokemon Zapdos? When I came to, I found myself lying outside the power plant. As soon as I become able to withstand those explosions, I'm going I'm going back to catch Zapdos. Alright. What about this one? Here I am in Victory Road. In my search for Pokemon I've never seen before. It seems you can't get very far without doing something about the stone walls in the way. As exploring the, ca the cave, I saw the most beautiful Pokemon. It was so beautiful that I got overwhelmed and passed out. What? As I did though, I saw I saw it flap its brightly burning wings. 
Kadab Bin, the legendary Pokemon Moltres. When I came to, I was all alone. Next time, I've got to stay conscious so I can capture Moltres for sure. Wow. Let me tell you guys, I've never heard of any of these Pokemon before. So, when we come to finding those at some point in those areas mentioned above, well, I think maybe we'll have a fun time. I guess. We'll see. And we get raspberries here in the bushes. Thank you, Ash. Alright, so that's a shortcut on making our way out of here. Uh, we have three pineapple berries in those bushes. We're looking a lot of berries. That's pretty good on our part. Okay. Um, normally in the other games, you're able to get past this point after getting those SS tickets, but I guess not so much the case here. I mean, I guess they made it so that you have to take on the gym in order to get past here, because you could technically skip the second gym. But, uh, that's okay. I'm gonna show off the gyms in order anyway, so that's not a big problem there. Alright, anyway. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and heal up. And actually, while I'm healing up, uh, there is something in a Pokemon in this Pokemon Center that I would like to show off. Alright, so if you talk to this guy right here, your EV looks very promising. I'm pretty sure that EV can learn a marvelous move that I've developed. Do you, uh, do you want me to teach a marvelous move to Eevee? Alright, so we have Bouncy Bubble, we have Buzzy Buzz, and Sizzly Slide. Bouncy Bubble is a very powerful move for, uh, for Eevee, it's water type. Um, I don't want to learn, I don't want to learn Bouncy Bubble. You can actually teach all three of these moves, um, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Uh, we have Buzzy Buzz, um, which is a very powerful electric type move with 100 accuracy, so that's really good for a powerful move like this. And then Sizzly Slide is a very powerful fire type move. Um, I'm going to teach Buzzy Buzz to uh, rocks this here. Um, and, um, oh man, all my moves are pretty good, and I don't want to get rid of any of them really. I mean, I guess double kicks isn't really double kick isn't really that amazing. Um, I hate to get rid of sand attack, but I think I'm gonna have to do it. So let's go ahead and get rid of sand attack if I'm gonna get buzzy buzz. Uh, if you're doing some sort of solo run with your Pokemon here, with your main Pokemon, then um, buzzy buzz would definitely be useful uh, for uh, the next gym coming up. And then, if you, of course, you can talk to uh, this guy again. He'll actually uh, he'll let you learn the uh, these these other moves as well. Um, in which, in this case, I'm not gonna learn. I'm not gonna learn these for now. Maybe maybe when I come back. Maybe when I come back to Cerulean City later, I will teach those. I'll think about teaching uh, those moves to Roxas. Uh, but um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stick with Buzzy Buzz for now. And these moves are exclusive to Eevee. Uh, I don't know if he has the same moves, if he teaches you the same moves, if you're playing Let's Go Pikachu. Um, I'm, I assume not, considering Pikachu is different from Eevee. Uh, but, um, uh, maybe I'll show off on, if, if, if they are different, if these, if there are different moves for Pikachu, then I'll show those on screen. What those moves can, uh, are. Uh, but anyway, that is going to be it for this episode of Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. And next time we're going to be taking on the gym of Cerulean City, which is right up here. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.